What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so we are back again for another episode this episode was bullshit okay i'm gonna just put it like that we looking at empire season five congratulations on getting season six i don't understand how but you know um black programming we do we gotta do but you know um this will be the last season next week will be my final episode of reviewing love um empire this episode 17 my fate cries out listen it just, I don't know, like, who writing a script? Like, it just, it lost its luster a couple of seasons ago for me. You know, um, I just don't understand what's been going on. You know, I, I know it's TV and a lot of stuff not supposed to be realistic, but it's just, it's just dragging at this point. And that's what I feel like. I don't know. And I was just so confused at this point because it was like, who going to be up in the casket? They got this whole doom and gloom um scenario going around with Andre because the episode starts off with Lucia sit there crying. You could tell he'd been crying for a minute. You hitting his voice. He all stuffed up and congested from crying so much, trying to convince Andre not to kill himself. Andre like, this the way I got to go and all this shit or whatever. And, um, you know, it's just like, if Andre goes, at this point, the whole thing with, um, you know, Empire being renewed and they not necessarily saying that Jesse isn't coming back, but they said they have no plans of uh, bringing him back or at the moment, they, I guess they still in the negotiation process, you know, with the network and the um, production company or oh, whatever, the people that powers that be, you know, I don't know what's going on. They, ne they didn't really just say that he was fired. They just said there's no plans, quote unquote, you know, at the moment. So we don't know what's going on with Justice's character. If he's coming back, um, at least he has somewhat of a story and could sometimes hold the story. But you got Andre who was like, even though he wasn't always on the show, he was like the backbone to the family, if you ask me, because he always came through and cleaned up their mess, okay? He, he was he, he had an interesting storyline for a minute. Bitch, this goddamn pump. And I was picking with it, so therefore, so, anyway, bitch. Anyway, I'm just like, so if he go, that's, then, and then Jussie might be gone, oh, we're going to be sitting here looking at season six like, who finna carry this show? Okay, we know Lucius and Cookie, but then we got to just think about Hakeem or whatever. Like, girl, Hakeem ain't barely been on this part two this season either way. And it's just like, who cares about Hakeem? Nobody does. Okay, we don't take him seriously, nor his little drama. Let's just talk about that shit for a minute. Okay, listen. <laughs> Maya, they need to do something to Maya. Maya don't need to come back next season unless Tiana beat her ass, okay? Unless Tiana beat her ass and somebody else beat her ass because she is doing... Cookie needs to beat her ass too, okay? Because she is doing the absolute most. You know, we got Devon and... um. Let me tell you something. Mario looks so good when I went to go see him. And uh, I said, you look like a grown man. A grown man. You did that. You really did that. Anyway, um, God, you did what you had to do on that one. You really did. Anyway, um, you know, they in there flirting. He want her to be on his track, whatever. And, uh, uh, Maya and, um, what's his name? What's his name? Hakeem coming to the studio. Hakeem, well, I'm going to need y'all to get up out the studio because I need the studio and I need to do this. And so he talking about the princess necklace. Um, Maya just so happened to call it cheap. She was like, is it affordable or something like that? Um, or some shit like that to, uh, uh, Devon. Cause he said his sister can make necklaces like that or whatever. And she threw some shots at him. Hakeem throwing shots or whatever. And I'm like, Maya, if you don't get your ass up out of here, she throwing shots at Tiana. I said, Tiana, you good. You good. You don't want to be like Remy Ma and, and put your life in jeopardy or whatever. But, um, you know, you got two kids at home or whatever. And you ain't trying to fuck that up right now over no basic ass bitch. So you going to keep your hands to yourself this time. But bitch. Bitch, let me tell you something. A bitch like me ain't got shit to lose. I put the fuck to ass up. Like, bitch, you got one more time, okay? One more time to be fucking with me. All right, with your smart ass shit. Bitch, what the fuck is that exactly do you do? Not a goddamn thing, okay? Um, Terry pregnant, you know, and they didn't really want to tell, um... They didn't really want to tell Andre yet because she don't know if her body can carry the baby. She 
seems like she's older, an older lady, and you know, they call 35 and up pregnancies geriatric pregnancies. I hate that word because it makes them seem as if they're very old and they're not, but that's what they call it. And you know, she don't want to put it out there that, you know, she's pregnant, give false hope if she can't carry the baby, she got to go to the doctor, you know, do all this stuff. And so she eventually does that. She comes back, she tells cookies that everything is all good and, um, you know, that she's having a baby boy. And so at this point, Cookie was about to spill the beans to Andre. She was like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I'll tell him tomorrow. I said, Cookie, slow down. But I get it. I get it. To You know, mothers... When, when they settled in life and they see their kids doing well, mothers welcome grandkids, okay? Even the ones that be like, bitch, I ain't going to be watching the kid or whatever. Doing all My mama, my grandmama said that to my mama when my younger sister was born. Because that bitch, she was born out of the blue, okay? Out of the blue, girl. I was 17 years old, okay? we I'm about to graduate from high school. You was almost done with this shit, mama. And you started all over. My grandma was like... Don't think I'm going to be babysitting. Don't think I'm going to be doing this. Don't think I'm going to be doing that. Bitch, what was going on? As soon as the baby was born, couldn't put her down. I said, what you say, Grandma? I thought you said you weren't going to be volunteering, girl. Volunteering. You know, but you just have grandma's ears and stuff like that. But, um, moving on from that. Um... What else wind up happening? Yeah, Andre wanted to kill himself and, you know, Lucia's going through the motions with this whole thing. Um, while he driving on the road, he just thinking about, and this is coming from Andre, talking to Andre or whatever. I think he was going to go home or on his way to Empire, one of those places. He was just thinking about all the instances and they were just going through a, a montage of stuff that was happening with, that we've seen throughout the season. Uh, with Andre and Lucia's relationship or whatever and um the times whether they were good or difficult that they had with Andre and he was zoning out so much that he went into oncoming traffic to the uh, opposite lane so he was trying to swerve to avoid hitting the car he hit a guardrail hit his head and um next thing you know he walking in the house stumbling in with a cut on his head i said bitch take your ass to the goddamn hospital we see how hard you hit your head on that steering wheel and that airbag deployed bitch take your ass to the hospital you can have a concussion that's all i kept on thinking concussion concussion please don't go in that house and lay down and go to sleep because you don't know what's gonna happen to you um lim nielsen you know he looked problematic his wife, Natasha Richardson, they went on a um, ski trip, you know, and she had an accident. She fell uh, during the skis and she hit her head or whatever. And she would still be alive had they took her to the doctor immediately. She went home. She went back to the room instead and laid down and never woke back up because she had a, a severe concussion, you know, and they didn't think that anything was wrong. Girl, I said, don't you lay your ass down. Next thing you know, ain't nobody up in the house because Cookie didn't go on to, uh, roller skating with Andre. Andre had already put some letters out there, whatever. Girl, listen. They go roller skating. I said, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. You just took me back to my young days, like my young, young days, okay? Because I'm still a young bitch. Don't get it twisted, okay? But my young, young days, bitch, we used to be up at the rink, okay? We used to be up at Rainbow Skating Rink, up the rink, you know? We used to be doing all that shit up there. We be having fun. That was the hangout spot, okay? The skating rink, it was just like Cascades and ATL. It was. It was. That was our place. All the teenagers. All us, um, you know, 20 and us and stuff before they close the shit down, bitches. That's what we used to hang out and have some bomb ass time, bitch. Okay. Ooh, if the walls can talk. Anyway, um, moving on from that. So they having fun or whatever. Meanwhile, Lucius back at the house and he trying to clean his face up or whatever. And he's hallucinating that Bunky is there. Bunky basically telling him he ain't a, he's an ain't shit nigga, okay? And um, you know, he he fucked up in his head for trying to um, you know, stop Andre from doing what he need to do, okay? He the only one that got heart. He the one that I kind of respected or whatever, cause if he needed something to be done, that nigga went out there and do it. And who the fuck is you to tell him that he can't do it? Then he wake up and he go to the hospital and he t um, you know, doing all this stuff. 
he uh laying on the bed or whatever and the nurse said we'll be back to get to you in a minute and then next thing you know shine up in the chair tell me some don't go to sleep because you got that concussion i said i knew he had a fucking concussion and then he was talking about how much he ain't shit and he's selfish as fuck he couldn't kill him if he wanted to he had to get somebody else to kill him and all this shit i'm sitting here like wait a minute um bitch wake your ass up because at this moment in time i know that he's going in and out i'm like he going in and out of consciousness or you know he just faking the funk right now. He don't know what's going on. This motherfucker. I said, so you mean to tell me you got people from his past coming back and telling him that he a bitch. Sam called him a bitch. Let me tell you something. What you don't do is you don't call no grown man a bitch. Okay. You do not call. You saw um Black Ink Crew uh Chicago when um Junior called that man a bitch. Them is fighting his words. Okay. Them is fighting his word. Bitch to a man is just like cunt to a white girl. Okay. Bitch to a man is just like nigga to a black person. I'm just saying. It's fighting word, especially to a black man. Bitch, it is 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 go. Okay? Square the fuck up, bitch. I said you call that man a bitch like that. And he was like, What you gonna do? I said, so y'all gonna really try to, you know, come down on this man cause he don't want his son to die. He don't want his son to die. I said, Terry, how let me tell this man that he is hey, he finna be a daddy. You're about to be your daddy. And that's what, you you know, give him a little bit more hope to live a little bit longer, okay? Until he naturally, you know, goes away. Not assist him dying, no, okay? And so I said, and Lucius, you wake your ass up. Okay, he eventually do wake up. He wake up to phone calls because it's a crisis going on over there at um Empire. You want to know what's happening at Empire? We got Becky and Giselle having a um, meeting with uh Patel. I, uh, Kelly Patel is there, and he supposed to be in a meeting with Andre and Lucius now, but Andre had some shit to do, so, you know, they held the, um, ring down, no, Jamal, Jamal is on his honeymoon, that's who he was, and so they, they figuring out what they need to do, they trying to figure out if, you know, they getting the users back, is people putting their trust back up in, um, you know, Empire and all this stuff, I said, Kelly, you did all this shit to get this company, and look where it's at now. Okay, look where it's at now. You probably thinking like, ain't this about a bitch? I said yes. Okay, you should have just let them have it. That's what you should have did. But at the end of the day, you know, they trying to figure out is the company coming back to where it's supposed to be at? And it was like, we getting good press. Yeah, we getting good press or whatever because of the fact that we giving out free concerts. But what's going on? Next thing you know, tricky, tricky. Thirsty come up in there with this other dude like, look, bitch, our checks bounce. Okay, we ain't getting no money. Nobody getting paid. Nobody didn't get paid. Uh, Lucius woke up in the car to uh, Thirsty telling him, bitch, you need to come down to um, um, Empire because, you know, people ain't getting their money. Okay, people trying to jump ship and everything because they ain't getting their money. I said, I know that's the fuck right. First of all, I don't trust you. If my shit come up and then all of a sudden I can't get my money and then, you know, all of a sudden we get the shit back on. How am I going to trust that this won't happen again? No, I'm going to have to um go weigh my options otherwhere, elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Get a backup plan, bitch, just in case some shit pop off again. But um anyway, at this time, um Cookie getting noticed of what's going on. She went down there to talk to Dame. No, that was afterwards. Girl, she was at the house. Next thing you know, Conway at the door. This bitch just froze the accounts, okay? Took Cookie down there to the interrogation room, trying to basically psych her out with some pictures of her and Damon, you know, asking about the Panamanian money and all this stuff and whoopie boo and want her to turn on Damon and, oh, I'm going to tell Lucius this and I'm going to tell Lucius that. She was like, bitch, are you trying to, you know, make me snitch and do all this shit without my lawyer here, trying to make me do this, trying to make me do that. Oh, Cookie read her ass. She had nothing to say at that point. When Did you hear when that bitch said, oh, so you're going to be the angry black bitch? You gonna be the angry black woman? Oh, let's play this role again. I said, "Girl, you got your goddamn nerves." Okay, she, I was like, "You know what, Kanye, Conway, hmm, same thing. She needs to get her ass beat. Sean Cook needs to whoop her ass too." Okay, and at this point, she left. She was like, "You ain't charged with me. You ain't charging me nothing. You can't hold me or whatever, bitch. I'm out of here, deuces." So when she finally get down there. 
um, she don't even go to the company. She go over there to Damon and, um, you know, tell him what's up. And he still, we had a connection. I know you felt it and all this stuff and woo, woo, woo. She was like, I love my husband. You were 16 years old when you first got with him and all the stuff that you've done was because of him and been through us because of him and all this shit. I can show you different. I said, Damon, let it get the fuck go. Let it the fuck go because it ain't finna happen right now. Not right now. I ain't going to say it ain't going to happen, but it's not about to happen right now. Okay? We in crisis mode. Quit thinking what you did. You know? Stop that. So, um, back at Empire, you know, um, Patel had already gone. He's gone to this YPO conference for billionaires and all this stuff. And Andre was like, I'm finna go down there and get some money from him. They was like, um, if you ain't got a billion dollars, bitch, you ain't gonna be able to come up in there. He was like, listen, I got my ways. So he go talk to Kinsley and was like, I need you to get me into this um, conference. He was like, first of all, I can't even get in there because they gonna look at me and laugh at me as the um, data mining bitch who lost all his um, his position in Empire and all this stuff. You know, so I ain't got no respect there no more. And then at this point, he was like, you know, I have to do what I have to do for my family. And he was, um, they had a moment they had a real ass moment and he was like you my big brother and i need you to do this for me and for the family you want to be a lion and all this shit next thing you know kinsley was like bitch here 10 million dollars i'm gonna transfer this to y'all account and i mean this the least i can do this ain't even half of what i could give or you know to make up for half the shit that i done to this company and all that stuff and i was like oh it's that easy you got 10 million dollars just laying around like that I need a few dollars, you know, with a few zeros at the end. It wouldn't help. I mean, I, I, if you want to give it out all willy-nilly like that, I wouldn't mind. But um, he was like, thank you. He was like, so it was all about the money. And Andre was like, no, nah, it really wasn't. You my brother and life's too short. I said, oh, shit, because he know he about to die, okay, because he about to kill himself, right? So at this point... You know, everything's all to the good. Now, everybody figure out what's going on. Kingsley gave him stuff. So, now at this moment, I'm thinking that Kingsley gonna probably sacrifice himself for Andre because, um, Andre, okay, okay, giving a preview. P fast forward, fast to the motherfucking forward. They find out, they rejoicing. Um, Becky had came up with this idea to do a concert or whatever. And, you know, of course, Hakeem get up there perform with Ty Dolla Sign. He gives um, Tiana a new necklace. Tiana get up there and perform with Steven Streeter. And um, so they do what they have to do. After the show, they was going to come home, be rejoiceful, all this stuff. Kelly Patel tried to shoot his shot at Giselle. She curved him a little bit, but I'm pretty sure she's going to wind up fucking him. But, um... You know, if she fucked old dude, Mateo, and Star, you know, she gonna fuck him too, okay? But she get home, and nobody else is there, and she sees the letters that uh, Andre has written addressed to her, Jamal, and um, Lucius, I think, or Hakeem, one of them, okay? And so, he's sitting down having dinner with Lucius in the restaurant, and he was like, um, I heard that this was your favorite um, restaurant and I got your favorite meal. And, you know, they just sitting there kicking and all this stuff. Remember when they was at the skating rink, you know, he was like, you don't ever do no love tap or whatever. You only do love taps to the ones that's your favorite to cook you. And he was like, "You, I never had to do that with you because you um, was always together. I do love you and I don't have favorites. Oh, yeah, Lucius did see something from his father, too. I said, you know, all right, all right. Come on now. And so at this moment, Cookie reading the letter. And she like, ain't this about a bitch? Ain't this about a bitch? She trying to figure out where Andre at. She instantly remembers to him saying the type of hotel that he likes to go to. And so she winds up going there right before, you know, um, Andre was about to eat the pills, take the pills in front of Lucian. Lucius was about to go ahead and let him do it. He had come to, you know, some type of peace with it, I guess, after all them hallucinations telling him that he was being a bitch for not letting his, being okay with his son wanting to kill himself. I said, what? All right, but I mean, I get it, but okay, but no. And so... Taraji, well, Cook came in and just said, bitch, no, this my baby. This my baby. I carried him for nine months and all this shit. And you was going to let him kill himself? You was going to let him do all this? Yeah. And the whole time they fighting and they going on. Andre ain't took nan pill, but Andre is over there going into convulsions. He's going down, down, because something's going on with his stomach or whatever. And he's on the floor. He passing out. He doing all this heavy breathing. He can't barely breathe. He doing all this shit. 
Girl, next week, they're going to have him in the hospital. Kingsley going to get mad at Lucius again. He got a gun pointing at Lucius. Bitch, what's going to happen is, I kid you not, I feel like this is what's going to happen. Kingsley ain't coming back next season, okay? Um, if he, I'd be surprised if he do. What's going to wind up happening is, Kingsley going to, instead of shooting Lucius, he going to shoot himself, and then Andre going to get his heart. There you go. I just figured the shit out. And that's who Lucius going to be crying over. Okay? He going to be crying over one of his sons, but it ain't going to be the main ones. All right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all tell me. Y'all mean to tell me Jamal didn't even want to come to the funeral? and Because the, uh, they read him all. But I mean, damn, that's fucked up. Anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel about this episode, and I will see you guys later. Peace.